Well, this game's got its, uh... This thing's gonna hate to me it. so much. Turned out there's a little secret thing that... Unfortunately, I did look up this because, well, I thought it'd be helpful. And you know what? I was right. So, while I might not normally do this, I will look stuff up if I'm having trouble. Because I want to beat this game with you guys. Roll intro. I wonder if I could have been there. Okay. What have I done? Hi there, welcome back to our Let's Play of Dark Souls. I'm your host, y'all. And we're going back through this forest because luckily for me, I managed to retrieve zero souls. Not only... Oh, okay. That works too. Um, I managed to do... Oh uh, yeah, so I got the seal of Artorias. Should be my items. Nope. Oh, keys. So it opens the sealed door. Now you can see what's behind it, because I saved that some souls. I was like, I want to see this really badly. And I don't want to go back down to the dead place, because that was pretty scary. Not gonna lie. Was well, spoopy. But um should be okay. If I get you guys here, that I will probably die anyway, cause just cause you guys are here doesn't mean that you can help me with the game. In fact, you guys probably want me to die, because it's funny. But I'll agree with you on that. And I'm gonna I'm just gonna do some exploring for this area as well, considering I kind of rush through it. No one feeds me information either, which is good. Glad you guys are keeping that for yourselves. And what's through door number this? Is that a hollow? A strong tea. Oh crap. This is stronger than I am. Hey, he's fine like a player. These living people. Oh crap. This is gonna hurt, isn't it? There's another one. Why am I up against here? Okay, so there's three of them, a regular guy and two phantoms. Okay, interesting. All right, let's change our weapons. Um, if I use, so main weapon, if I can use my Long sword and off weapon will still be bow. I gotta see if I can upgrade it. Well, I don't use him. Need any? Oh, that cost me money. Interesting. Um, 
free on them. If you notice durability, you can ask a blacksmith like me, sir. The nice thing about weapons, so pay them. Okay. Now, I should be able to strike a bit faster, but... Other than that, they will... I'll, I'll see if I can fight this guy at the moment. He might be a fair fight. Shield up. Okay, so that's his attacks. Ooh. Let's get distance on it. Ooh. Okay, rolling towards him did not help me there. Can I use my throwing knives? Oop. That hurt him? Not much. We got a lot of arrows, so this might work. I I got him stuck there. Wait, did I just bug him? Will he figure that out? Oh, did that fix it? Nope. <laughs> Okay. What have I done? I'm having a good day here. <laughs> Not gonna lie. So he's tracking my movements as well. He's like, yeah, get him from there. And there's obviously a thing in the way. Oh crap. He, he figured out the strat. He was like, yeah, no, you're not getting me with this. Not this time. <laughs> okay. I'll, I'll accept this. He doesn't respawn either. What's that do? I'm not gonna use that immediately, but I'm pretty happy with the result. Well, hello again. You seem to need any. Oi, where are you off to? <laughs> I'm actually very happy with my results so far. I need to raise my intelligence to get my magic to work. Plus four and long sword plus two. Go get yourself killed. And he's not here. He's I get to actually look around this place for a moment. Yay. So yeah, it turns out, choosing it works. Who knew? We're gonna test out the sword on these guys again.
free hits. It's quicker. So I'm gonna use that and the long sword. I'm gonna swap to the long sword once I reach the mini boss guys. We gotta get them another go. Doesn't quite one shot them, but that's okay. Now I need to upgrade my bow once I get a Titanite shard, because it seems helpful to have a bow apparently. I know what you guys are thinking the sword probably gonna be slower than the um, halberd, but the point is I need to be able to block his attacks, considering they hurt. He was also using a sword. Maybe we should go for the mage first. Oh! That hurt. Oh no, okay. And how dragon friends doing? We'll give the dragon a go. It's only two thousand souls. So what do we need for the dragon? We think we need a bow considering he flies. And if I die fighting him, we'll just, I'll try. I'll kill him off screen and see what goes. What's behind that? Or at least try to get past him. Yeah, it's gonna be one attempt on the dragon. I think running back's a pain in the ass anyway. And then we gotta go down to the darkest depths of the game. Underground. So yeah, what I think I'll do is I'll try to mix it up between episodes and go to different places just for you guys. So if I unlock a place, I'll try to go there. It's just, remember, this game is fairly difficult, apparently. Well, not people that have beaten it don't find it difficult, but then they beat it, so it's not difficult because you beat it. <laughs> but people that haven't, if you're going around looking stuff up to figure out how to win, you're not beating the game, you're memorizing the patterns preemptively, which is still beating the game, but you haven't beat it yourself, if that makes sense. It's kind of like watching someone else play football in the same game. But you know what to do on that game because you've seen it be done before. It doesn't make sense, but it does.
It was a weird sound. Also, the fact that I need 4,000 souls to level up at this point is kind of rough. Considering I don't have 4,000 souls. Don't know why I tried to block that. Oh. I can upgrade my bow. Before I go down there. Let's do that. I won't use the bonfire, I'll just upgrade my bow. We're 15 minutes in. Nothing's happened except me dying. Whoops. I get some more arrows too. What happens if I kill that guy? Don't want to find out. But yeah, those guys were tough, the ones in that room. wonder if they respawn. Only one way to find out, by killing them, but maybe not this episode. Well, I you need any. I'll buy ten. I'll buy twenty. Fifteen. <laughs> and if I die, I'll downgrade my strength and stuff a bit. So I'll have to do some grinding. Yay! I don't even know what other weapons I've got. What does the S stock do? 75, and how much does the Hellbird do? 154. That's quite a bit different though. Considering this has been upgraded four times, so you're like, why do you keep upgrading the Hellbird? You got a great sword. Like, I don't know how these weapons work. Also, apparently, if you, I did look this up. If you look, shoot the dragon style twenty times, you do get a cool weapon. I feel bad for looking at it though, because I was trying to look up a strategy for the dragon because I didn't want. I just said don't do that, and I did. See, this game is rough. Like, don't do this thing. I did it, but don't do it. I need to get past him. Oh, hi, rat. There we go. So apparently you can break its tail. So we're gonna do a time lapse here of me breaking its tail. Potentially.
20 arrows later. <laughs> This thing's gonna hate me so much. I wonder if I could eventually kill it like this as well. You have to hit the tip of its tail. It is a wider target. No, it's not. This is pretty rough on it, I gotta admit. Oh. Okay. What does that do? Neat. All right, we're gonna wait the rest of this bonfire, and then we gotta take on the dragon. Yes, I did look that up, but you know what? I feel pretty good about it. It's clearly better than the Hellbird. No. Oh, yay. Rested bonfire. Episode is over. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next episode where I tame the dragon.